Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, HighOnAndroid.com and HTCVoHex.com. So I just got a message, um, and I try to do more of these. Instead of answering questions, I'm going to make a video um, if there's a good question that a lot of people are going to ask because I'm kind of tired of, you know, well, not tired, but I can't, you know, respond to every comment because it's kind of like flooding my inbox, my Google+, Facebook, and that's probably why um, I haven't got back to you on your question, but ask me again. Um, if I'm online, don't forget to hit me up on Facebook. Uh, Facebook's probably the easiest way because you know I'm online or not. Anyway, this first question comes from Thomas Blaine in HCC Evo 3D user. He says, hi Max, I'm new to all this smartphone stuff. I got Evo 3D back in November. I've been trying to gain information, making it functional to its potential. Uh, I have been checking forums and following your YouTube sharing. I have not rooted, even attempted, but I have been studying the advantages of rooting. Great job, Thomas. Um, I'm still unsure of my capability, but one question I would like to is, should I download Sprint Software Update for Evo 3D? What are the advantages and disadvantages of doing this? I enjoy your logical approach when you explain things. I'm not slow, but I'm trying to learn. I've become fascinated by the smartphone technology and have it. Uh, kind of a hobby studying it. Um, thanks for any advice you can give and thanks for doing what you do, Tom. Alright, thanks uh, Tom for that. Um, let me grab my Evo 3D here. So, for the Evo 3D, if you if you didn't do any uh, sprint updates and um, there's actually HBoot 1.4 and HBoot 1.5 for the sprint CDMA version. Um, I don't have the GSM version, so I don't know. Uh, but if you have the CDMA version, you can check uh, what version of HBoot you have. And you can do that by taking the battery out, holding the volume down, and the power button. And then it, it should it should boot into a uh, bootloader. But I think it, my, my phone... Oh, there we go. So mine says HBoot 1.5. I'll give you a close-up. Here we go. Can you see it? There we go. You can see that. HBoot uh, 1.5, third line right there. You see it? So if you have uh, HBoot 1.5 um, and, and later you have to use the older method of unlocking your phone and rooting your phone, um, which requires you to go to the HCC site. And one of the drawbacks of having an HBoot 1.5 or later, one of the newer OTA updates, is that um, you have to use the HCC method. And when you use the HCC method, um, you can't run recovery and flash kernels. Okay, so basically when you flash a new ROM, you'll have to use another method um, flashing using the flash, uh, flash image GUI app. Um, then you can flash it on your phone. So the process becomes, just basically becomes, you have to, you know, a, a lot more complex than just using Clockwork Run Recovery. So um, if you're on the older version, use the older um, root method which is on my site I'll post all the methods on my site using the revo use the revolutionary method because um, if you're on HBoot 1.4 um, then you can use uh, you can use the revolutionary method and also you know not have to do all that kernel the flash image glue you can just use recovery um, anytime to flash new ROMs. So I hope that answers your question. So the answer is no, don't use, um, don't upgrade. If you're gonna root, uh, it's better if you're on an older Evo. This is, this is just for Evo 3D. It's better um, if you're on the older OTA software. But if you're already on 1.5, um, then it doesn't really matter. And this goes for actually all HTC phones, sorry that have HCC unlock method. The HCC unlock method, I don't recommend it. I hate it, in fact, because it doesn't let you flash kernels from the recovery without, you know, doing special things like booting recovery from fast boot or using that app I called uh, Flash Image GUI, which is all on my site. I mean, you can do it. I mean, it's, it's not undoable, just, you know, I'd rather stay on the revolutionary method. So I hope that answers your question. And uh, go check what HBoot number you have, and uh, you should be ready to go if, if you're on HBoot 1.40, or I think also 1.3. Uh, anything below 1.5 is great, you know, for the CDMA uh, version. So shoot your questions um, to my Twitter, uh, 
Google Plus, Facebook, or my email at zetomax at gmail.com. But don't call me. <laughs> All right, see y'all later.